Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Tech of Tomorrow, Elric Ferris here. Now, what are we doing here today on Tech of Tomorrow? Well, today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing and first look and overview of a new case from the people over at Silverstone. This is their FT-03 Mini. Now, this thing's basically like their big fortress tower, but it's a mini tower, so it's gonna have lots of features. If you guys don't know Silverstone, they're the guys with the little snowflake logo and they make lots of great cases and fans. So with that said, let's hop in and let's take a look at this new FT-03 Mini. All right, folks, so let's check it out. Like all unboxings and everything, we gotta start out with the box. You guys can see it says USB 3.0 ready, which means it's probably gonna have the connectors in here and a little cable that goes to your motherboard. It's the Fortress Series FT-03 Mini. It says 2.5 millimeter thick anodized aluminum outer shell, a removable top cover, top mounted buttons, compatible with SFX power supplies, and capacity for one 3.5 hard drive or two 2.5 drives. Supports for graphics cards up to 9.5 inches long. Not quite the 10 inch lady pleaser that we're used to having around here, but hey, that's still cool. Rotated 90 degree motherboard mounting, which is cool. It's gonna be straight up just like some of the other ones we've seen. So we saw the front of the box. Here's the side of the box. Not much to that, just tells the different languages, the ones I have a chance of, of talking about, and then these other ones that are just basically symbols, or what I call the W2F languages, you know, because I can't read that one, I can't read that one, that one, that one, or that one. I'm sure there's lots of people who can, but me, I can go Deutsch, Espanol, Francis, and Italiano. After that, I'll be like, but hey, another thing. Flip it around, show you a couple pictures of it. Here's the introduction. If you guys want to just take a look real quick, I'll lock on the screen here so you guys can see about this and read this. I won't read it off to you guys. Tell me you hate that. So I'll let you read it and I'll hold on here long enough just for you guys to see it. But you can see down, here's the model numbers. Here's the material, the type of motherboards that it takes, how many drive bays, cooling system, the IO ports, the type of power supply, and the expansion card. It's all right here. So if you guys need to know that, just make your screen bigger so you can check that out. Then let's go ahead and start unboxing it. I'm going to take my trusty knife. I won't even use any sound effects. I'll just click the thing out. You guys are getting tired of the same old joke, so I won't use them. And I won't throw anything at the cameraman today either. So we'll just take it a little easy, open the box up nice and gently. This one shouldn't be too much problems. I don't even have to probably stand up for this one at all. And I'll be good to go to move forward. I'm going to keep safety first. Toss the knife out. All right, then. So here we go. I'm going to pull it out. You guys see styrofoam. I'll just take this like this. And kablammy, kablammy, we have it. I'll just go ahead and set the box off to the side over here. Starting off the bat, we can see we have the Silverstone Fortress Series FT-01 Mini Manual. It's the Mini Manual. It should be smaller than their manual. It's, it's a Mini Manual. No, I'm just kidding. Here are the screws, connection for your USB, and the USB 3.0 header in case you only have those type of connections on your motherboard. Most motherboards these days actually have this type of connection though. Nothing else there. We'll bat that around. Since I got it this way, we'll just start out on the bottom this time. So right here in the bottom of it, we can see there's a fan that's in here. Go ahead and pull that bad boy off. You can see there's a blue colored fan right on the bottom feet, all rubberized. Slap this little bad boy back in there. You can hear the clipping as I do it. Easy to go. So, and actually this thing's really light too. So a lot of the cases I get are like so heavy to carry that I can't do anything. So now let's jump it up and let's just check it out. I'll do some turns with it so you guys can just see how elegant it is. It's very elegant and simple on its outside. And spin it once. You guys can see the side. I'm gonna spin it again. I'm going to spin it again. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to move it up here. Remove this plastic cover off the top here. Here's where some of your connections are. And like they said, this case, the motherboard mounts vertically. So you have the motherboard coming up and down instead of being sideways. So your rear I.O. is going to be right here. Here goes your on and off buttons your USB 3.0, your microphone, your headset, all right there. Here's two slots right here for your video cards. So you can see you can fit one single car in there. So if you had a single 690, you'd be able to stick that bad boy in here without a problem at all. 
So let's go ahead and move the front to magnetic. So all you do is just pop it back on, it just magnetically seals and holds on there. Very nice ergonomic design, very easy to come off. And then we'll move inside and let's take a look at the interior now. We take this little bad boy apart, let's disassemble it piece by piece. Kind of crazy. Look at this, the whole thing just simply comes apart. Very elegant. Look at this, every side. This one's the only one that's actually kind of got some luck. So, every panel comes off except for the one the motherboard goes on. So Rodney Reynolds is going to be pissed. It's not a removable motherboard tray. But everything else in the system comes completely apart. Let's pop it up. Here's the internal. Here are your cables for everything right here, including, like I said, a USB 3.0, which will plug into most motherboards. Here's where your hard drive will go. So if you're going to use a standard HDD, it fit right there. If you're going to use a SATA, you'll need to use an adapter. Here's the motherboard tray goes in, and the power supply goes right over here. Now you guys can see this is very small, so you're not going to be able to fit any of the normal type power supplies. Now take that in mind before you go building the system because this is only going to fit the very smaller power supplies, and that might be something you want to take into consideration. But beyond that, I mean, you guys can see this little Fortis FT-03 Mini, it's very small, it's very elegant, all the parts are magnetic, thing just pops together, pops apart very simply. So that's it folks, you guys saw it here, the Fortress FT-03 Mini. This is a really nice small case, if you guys are looking for something you can just stick in a corner, this might be something you're looking for. Also, the way that the board mounts like this, instead of mounting like this, makes it very tricky, I think, to put the cabling in, it's a little bit different, but when you get it all up and you put the covers on it, it does look pretty elegant as well. So thanks for watching Tech Tomorrow, we'll see you guys back here with another video shortly.